All right, back at it again, talking RV sales process. Today we're talking about, you know, how many RVs should we be showing to our potential customers and clients? Because a lot of the times you'll see, especially in newer salespeople, and this doesn't just apply for RV sales, you'll see this in car dealerships and every dealership you've been in and, and in multiple different businesses that sell products or services. The truth is, Salespeople, especially young ones, when they get customers, they want to just show them everything that the customer wants to see, right? They want to walk them in the fifth wheel and then take them from the fifth wheel to the travel trailer. And then they want to go from the travel trailer to the motorhome simply because the customer wants to see that RV or they want to just see what's inside or they want to take a look and dream a little. Okay, that's all, you know, fine and dandy and you know, we definitely want to make our customers happy and show them products that meet their needs that, you know, they want to be in, in a sense, but we can't just show them, you know, everything on the lot. We can't walk them from a motor home to a travel trailer, to a fifth wheel, to a truck camper, to a pop-up. Like we just can't do that because if we do, then the customer has no idea what they want to do. And in fact, they're probably not, you know, any closer to a decision because now, You've kind of made them confused, right? You've, you've kind of, you know, got them pointed in a million different directions and, and they don't really know where to go anymore. So we have to be understanding of the fact that as a professional RV salesperson, it is our job to learn what our customer needs so much so that all we have to do is show one or two RVs. Because that's, when our customer really understands that we have their intentions, their needs, their wants, their emotions at the forefront of our thought process. I mean, think about it, whether it be a relationship that we have, you know, whether it be friends, you know, that we work with or whatever the case might be, you know, if, if my friend says, Hey, I like to, you know, do this. And then we keep bringing up ideas that is this, you know, let's say they like to do movies Our friend. Hey, you know, I'd love to go on a movie, you know, day with you and we'll go see a movie or something. And then every time you have something going on, it's not a movie thing, you know, Hey, you know, Hey, do you want to come play chess with me? Hey, do you want to go out to the park and run around? Hey, do you want to, you know, go play in the rain? You know, I don't know. You could come up with a million different things, but the truth is, is if you were like, hey, friend, do you want to go do this? And it's something that they're like, they've expressed to you multiple times. Like, listen, man, I don't like to play in the rain. I don't like to play chess. I don't like to do these things. And you and you and you try to do those things with them. They're going to be like, dude, do you even listen to me? Do you even understand what I like? Do you even understand what I enjoy? Do you even understand what like what are you talking about? That's kind of how your friend would feel. And you got to take that kind of thought process, even though it's a little confusing in a sense, but you got to apply it to RV sales. Because if you're showing customers RVs that don't fit their needs, that don't fit their wants, that really an end, end game don't get them closer to what they want to do, it will make them feel as if you don't really understand what their needs are, what their wants are, what they care about. And because now they understand that you don't really understand what they care about now they know that you don't really care now maybe that sounds confusing but if you want to show somebody you care then you ask them questions to dig deep about what they're trying to do what they're trying to accomplish where they're going so on and so forth so you can learn those emotions build that rapport and once you learn that and you ask the right questions well now our customer understands that this person that they care about me they're asking the right questions. They're digging deep. They're, they're asking me where I want to go, who I'm going to be going with, where we're going to be going, what we're going to be doing with the, when we get there. They're making sure that, that we have room for the kayaks in the RV or there's a kayak rack or they're making sure that we have the bunkhouse that we need for the kids or they're making sure that there's enough room in the RV so that when we you know, park, we're not too tight or you know, whatever the customer's needs and wants are. And when you can show a customer one or two RVs that are very tailored to their needs, then what you are telling them subliminally, what you are showing them 
is that you care about their needs so much that you listen to them. You asked enough questions and you showed them this perfect product for them because now you have a great picture on what they're trying to accomplish or what they're trying to do. And because you have such a good picture, you can provide them with one or two RVs that make perfect sense for them. So we don't have to go in the fifth wheel, the travel trailer, the truck camper, the motorhome, the, the pop-up. We don't have to go through everything on the lot because I've tailored it down so well as an RV salesperson and I've learned your needs so well as an RV salesperson that I'm able to show you one or two RVs that meet your needs specifically. That way we don't waste your time and we can show you something that's going to work for you and do the things that you want to do. So by showing too many RVs, we are really conveying to our customers that we do not care about them, that we do not care about what their needs are, that we do not care to ask enough questions to learn their needs, that we just want to show you everything on the lot and hope that you buy something. Commission-based thought process. Okay, if we want to sell things, we have to be customer centric. We have to be customer based. So when we show one or two RVs, what we tell our customer subliminally is, hey, I care about you. I care about you so much. That's why I'm asking all these questions. And once I ask enough questions to learn what you're what you're doing, what your needs are, what your wants are, your emotions, what you're going to be traveling and, and all the different things I need to understand about you so that I can provide you with the RV. Once I learn that and I show you the perfect RV and you can buy it on the first or second RV that I show you, what that conveys to our customer is, you know, hey, that I care about you, that I care about what you're doing. I care about your needs. I care about your wants. I care about your emotions. And I want to provide you with an RV that is going to help you do the things that you actually want to do. And that's much more stronger. That's a customer-centric thought process, which is going to convey a lot better through the sales process, and it's going to help you close the deal a lot easier. When your customer understands that you care about their needs, you care about their wants, and you want to provide them with an RV that meets those needs, their defenses drop, and they care about you more as a salesperson. Now you're kind of like a friend. You're kind of someone that's helping point them in the right direction and providing value instead of someone that's showing them every RV on the lot, hoping they buy something so that we can turn them into a commission. So how many RVs should we be showing our customers? The answer, one, maybe two RVs, three at the absolute most. But if you're showing three or four or five RVs, what it means is we didn't do a good enough interview and qualify and we don't know their needs well enough and that's why we have to show more than one or two RVs. So what that means if we're showing more than one or two RVs is that we need to do a better job in the interview and qualify so that we can learn the emotions, the needs, the wants, the desires of our customer well enough so that we can show them only one or two RVs. If you can get that practice you know, dialed in, then you're going to close a lot more deals because once you show customers more than one or two RVs, we start to confuse them. Think about it in terms of dinner. I use this example a lot because it's so easy. We run into this every single day if we have a significant other or someone that we're, you know, we need to eat dinner with, right? But, you know, we come home or maybe the husband or wife asks us before we leave, hey, what do we want? What do you want for dinner? Right? What do you want for dinner? With that question right there, it gives you a million different options. We could eat tuna, steak, veggies, chicken, breakfast, eggs, cereal. I don't know. We could eat a lot of different things. So when a husband or wife asks, hey, what do you want for dinner? A good amount of the time, we might say, I don't know. What do you want? What are you thinking? What are you looking for? I don't, and then it goes back and forth, doesn't it? Then the wife, the husband is like, oh, well, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And then we never know. We It takes a while to figure out what we actually want for dinner. However, if husband or wife was to go, hey, what do you want for dinner? Pizza or tacos? Very easy for me to decide. Well, hey, do I want pizza today? Do I want tacos today? Hey, I want tacos. Let's go with tacos, sweetie. 
boom, now we're eating some tacos. We're rocking and rolling. That was an easy choice. Why? Why was it an easy choice? Because I only had two things to pick from, pizza or tacos. Okay? A lot easier when I have less choices. The more choices we get, the more confusing things get, the harder it gets in the sales process. And now it almost makes it impossible to close because we almost confuse our customers. We confuse them. Now they don't know what they want. Now they don't know if they want a motorhome or a travel trailer. Well, they originally thought a travel trailer would work. They have the truck, but now they got in this motorhome and it looks so great that they think this might work, but maybe it's not best for them. So it all just kind of depends. We got to ask the right questions. We got to learn our customers' needs, learn their wants, learn their desires, and show them one or two RVs that meet those needs specifically. If we're showing more than that, we don't know our customers well enough. If you're having trouble with the sales process, go grab the book, Sell More, Live More Sales Training. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. The link is in the description. If you're an individual sale RV salesperson, you can also get sales training. Maybe you don't like to read. You can get the audio and video training right online at sellmorelivemore.net. Link is in the description as well. And if you are a dealership or business that needs more customer leads for your dealership or business, if you need more customers that your sales team is talking to, then IMR is the place to be. We can help you get more customers at your dealership or your business by implementing our programs into your dealership or business. So give me a call directly, 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. If you are a dealership or business that needs more customers, give IMR an opportunity to earn your business and you won't you won't regret it. We'll definitely help you get more customers. We'll help you guys stay busy and, and we'll help you you know, grow your business. So give me a call directly, 330-703-3930. Juan Perez, 100%, Chris, the more information you are able to get from your customer, the better experience they'll get in return. 100% right, Juan. We need the information because the information we're able to get from our customer provides us the information we need to show them the right RV and give them a great experience. If we show a customer the wrong RV three times in a row, they are going to hate you as a salesperson, they will understand that you do not care about their needs, their wants, their desires. And even if they tell you or not, they will be buying from another salesperson, probably Juan. Juan is going to be the one that sells them the RV. If you other salespeople out there are not able to get the kind of information you need to close the deal. So you're exactly right, Juan. The more information you're able to get, helps you provide a better experience to the customer and in turn helps you close the deal. So uh, I cannot argue that one little bit. Uh, your customers need to be your main focus. And if we're showing too many RVs, then whether you like to admit it or not, what that, what that says is that you do not know enough about your customer and that's why you're showing them so many RVs. You're trying to throw spaghetti at the wall and hope that it sticks instead of focusing down, seeing the bullseye, seeing what your customer actually needs, wants, and desires and delivering it to that. All right. While we're out there at our RV dealerships, let's make sure this week we're showing one or two RVs and let's make sure in our interview and qualify that we're asking enough questions and we're going past surface level so that we can provide our customers with the right RV the first time. We're going to be talking about RV sales process all year long. So if you haven't given me a like or if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn yet, rather, uh, hop over to LinkedIn, send me that connection request. I'll be sure to accept it. If you haven't liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel yet or our Facebook page, hop over to Facebook, hop over to YouTube, type in Infinite Media Resources and give us a like and a subscription. That way you can be here for the different sales and marketing content that we'll put out throughout the year. So I appreciate everybody that's been here that keeps coming back. Um, love talking sales process. If any of you out there want to do a live sales role play with me, I'd love to do that. Whether you're in RV sales, uh, you know, car sales, dealerships, realtor, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're selling, I'd love to do a live role play with you, help you get your sales process down a little better. So if you want to sign up for a live role play, shoot me an email, chris at got.marketing. You can also call me as well. Let's get that scheduled. That way we can get you in a live role play. 
and get your sales process dialed in a little bit better. So again, I appreciate everybody that keeps coming back to these videos. We're talking RV sales process all year long. We'll see you on the next one.